everybody, this is Praxis. I'm back on site again today, and I'm gonna be working up on the top level, uh, but the real story is what's going on outside and what's going on with the roof and what's going on with the windows, because that's influencing my ability to work on the walls inside. As I mentioned yesterday, I'm kind of limited as to what walls I can work on because I really want to get some support walls down on the very lowest level so they can support the second level, so that can support the third level, so I can get all of the floors that might be a little bit bent down perfectly straight and flat and everything and I'm held up by the fact that I don't have the slab and the slabs held up like I said yesterday by the fact that I don't have windows and additionally by the fact that I don't have a complete roof I'm still waiting on the uh, screws to show up so that I can finish the roof I, actually I had them the mail delivery to my current house is really uh, unreliable uh, UPS will you know just keep delaying 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 for weeks so I actually had the roofs uh, roofing screws sent to my dad's address because uh, I figured he was going to help me anyway. So they showed up, but they showed up just before we got all this crunchy snow and ice that fell on top of everything. Uh, there's a layer of it up on top here, and uh, you know I think that I can maybe get the stuff cleared off. I'm just kind of looking at what I've got here, and it looks like there's kind of like a crust on the surface, but it's kind of soft underneath. I'm hoping that's similar to what's going on up there. But I also want to get the roof on before we do this slab because uh, if you know, right now it's very cold, but if it warms up and the temperature has been up and down, it's been 50, it's been, you know, this week we're having like highs in the tens. Uh, you know, if it does warm up and we get rain in there, it'll drip down into the, the structure, it'll drip all the way down. And if the, the floor is curing at that time, we'll get little puddles and drip marks and things all over an otherwise nice, smooth surface. So there's all these other things that are kind of holding us up. Um, and I, I just came out back here to kind of check the nature of it. And again, it doesn't seem too, too bad. We got, like I said, like a crust on the top, but it's powdery underneath. And the trick is, is that we can't be putting down any roof up there if there's any kind of a, a ice layer right on top of the the structure itself because as I try to screw the roof in uh, it's not it's gonna you know screw down to the ice then the ice melts and you know suddenly the roof isn't uh, isn't solid on there anymore so it's all these little things that just contribute you know the windows uh, was completely none of my doing they got put in the wrong pile to go to somebody else and you know I'm doing the best I can to try to get the, all the windows in so we can warm the place uh, the roofing screws was kind of half my fault uh, you know I used the wrong bag, but the bag was put into a box that was labeled something else. The whole box was labeled one and five eighth inch screws, and when I opened it up, I just grabbed the first bag off the top, not thinking to uh, check whether or not someone had opened the box, slid in a different type of screw, and then resealed the thing. Uh, you know, so, you know, it always pays to double check everything. But, you know, whatever the cause of it, I'm trying to get the solution to it, which is, getting the rest of the stuff sent here, and hopefully we can just get a break in this weather, get the roof up, get the windows on, and then we can start heating the structure, and then we can get a floor in there, and then we can really start leveling out all the floors and doing all the walls inside. But I've got a couple more areas that I can do inside, but I'm not rushing because if I rush, I'm gonna run out of things that I can actually do before we get that floor poured. That's it, thanks for watching.